Good day to you. Today, my team and I will be speaking on the optimization of key processes within the supply chain management. Specifically, we will be elaborating on the RFID technology and how it can be integrated in the automotive industry. My team consists of myself, Michael, James, Hayter, and Zane. Here we have our agenda for the presentation, which will dive deeper into our problem, recommendation, and integration of the solution. As a leading manufacturer, the automotive industry has become a major sector for the economy, making up 20% of total U.S. retail sales and contributing 2.7% to the U.S. gross domestic product, which is approximately $500 billion. Given the high consumption, a key aspect in the automotive manufacturing process is supply chain management, which is the strategic layout of end-to-end -end manufacturing process. While the optimization of supply chain management leads to maximizing efficiency in operations, there are huge gaps present in today's supply chain, such as waste and waiting times, overstocked and understocked inventory, and miscommunication, which all pose direct cost to operations. With the inefficiencies in mind, this project will focus on addressing the lack of end-to-end -end visibility in the supply chain process through the adoption of IoT technology in order to achieve a higher degree of advanced manufacturing. Now, Industry 4.0, which is the fourth industrial revolution, IoT is among the leading facets for movement towards automation and data exchange. And among IoT technologies, the adoption of RFID seems fitting with a, within a supply chain environment as it provides real-time visibility and the trackable location of the automotive part wherever it is located in the production line. RFID is a technology that encodes data within smart tags, which then transmits the data to a reader using radio waves. This in turn enables accurate tracking and ability to have stronger information sharing between business units. RFID technology is also much more efficient in its ability to scan multiple items simultaneously, whereas traditional methods are done manually and one at a time. The key components of RFID technology are the RFID tags, the RFID antenna, the RFID reader, and the database. Now, the RFID tags consist of a circuit and microchip, which are placed on items to track and use to store the data. The data is then transmitted to the RFID antenna, which communicates by sending radio waves. Now the antenna is then connected to the RFID reader, which takes the collected data and integrates it into a database using middleware, which is software that bridges data coming in from the reader to the organization's enterprise database. At this point, the data is stored and can be further used for data analysis. And now I'm gonna go pass it on over to Hader. Thanks, Mike. So within the automotive industry, the assembly plant has been selected as a place of focus for RFID technology. We have selected three key processes within the assembly plant to demonstrate the impact of RFID technology. These processes have been selected as they are highly manual and error prone. So let's jump right into it. The first process is inbound receiving. The purpose of inbound receiving process is to bring in goods and materials into the warehouse. Currently, each unit must be scanned and checked as it is received. This process requires a lot of labor and is highly error prone. With RFID technology, inventory is automatically received as soon as it enters the warehouse. This greatly changes the receiving process as items no longer need to be counted or checked. Instead, that labor can be used and allocated to stock the items. In addition, RFID receiving gives real-time feedback to the operators. This helps them catch any time an item is short shipped or if there's any inaccuracies in the items and products being shipped. Second, cycle counting. Cycle counting is an inventory auditing process. It is used to reconcile physical inventory against the systematic inventory counts. When cycle counting, associates have to go through the warehouse and scan every item and have it checked against the systematic inventory. With RFID technology, all of this is no longer needed. Cycle counting can be done instantaneously. The RFID sensors can be put on a schedule to automatically count the inventory. Furthermore, unlike before, total warehouse cycle counting can be done as frequently needed as well as on an ad hoc basis. And lastly, shipping. The purpose of the shipping process is to send inventory and materials to other warehouses and customers. When shipping items, associates have to manually scan each unit being shipped prior to loading it onto trailers. As the units are scanned, they are checked against the sales orders to ensure the correct items are being shipped. 
In shipping, RFID can be used to automatically account for all the items that are loaded onto the trailers. Manual scanning would no longer be needed. In addition, if an incorrect item is loaded onto the truck, operators will get real-time feedback of the error. This greatly helps the supply chain as such errors are caught in the assembly plant and no longer caught by the downstream processes. And so this is what a typical receiving process would look like with and without RFID technology. As you can see, many steps are automated. Operators no longer have to check the goods prior to sending them to our assembly plants. When receiving, our assembly plant associates no longer need to scan all the items and unnecessary documentation does not need to be printed. All this results in a decrease in the overall number of steps in the process, as well as an increase in accuracy. And now I'm going to pass it over to Zane. Thank you, Hader. Now with all the data collected through adding the RFID to the parts of the automotive manufacturing process, big data analysis can be carried out. Big data utilizes data and powerful statistical methods to predict and make decisions throughout the supply chain. It uses artificial intelligence to analyze the data in order to deliver meaningful and reliable insights. This can result in insights such as reduced purchase inventory, which can save the organization millions of dollars. As a result of big data, the manufacturer will obtain growth and minimize risk while improving the supply chain decision making. In the current manufacturing industry, big data is not fully being exploited as a result of two challenges. First, Manufacturing organizations lack the ability to capture and evaluate the data required to perform big data. And second, many supply chain managers have not acquired the technical skill set with data analysis and lack the vision to take advantage of big data. With the implementation of RFID tags on the automotive manufacturing parts, the data collected can be used to input in big data softwares. There are six areas in the supply chain in which big data can support the automotive manufacturing industry. First, we have inventory and operations planning. This includes projecting incoming goods and inventory, as well as avoiding overstocking inventory and the associated storage expenses. Next is sourcing. Sourcing can help build the cost structure and selecting the most appropriate supplier for goods. Within manufacturing, it optimizes scheduling for energy intensive production and scheduling with respect to cost, inventory, and capacities. Warehousing is also a vital aspect in ensuring the space is used efficiently and minimizes the travel time from goods to the production line. The next way big data can support the automotive manufacturing supply chain is in transportation, which involves optimizing the routing and ramp allocation at warehouses. And lastly, in the point of sale area in supply chain, big data can help identify the number of finished goods at a store location, as well as prevent out of stock. Now I'm going to pass it on to James, who will discuss the implementation of the design along with the associated costs. Awesome, thank you Zane. Implementing the RFID technology draws a couple of challenges to the change management process that is required to integrate the employees and suppliers. With any radical change within an organization results in some hesitation, resistance, and negative attitude towards that change. These feelings of resistance towards the change typically stem from the following. Lack of communication by the organization, Lack of technical skills where employees feel that they don't have the expertise to use the technology that is provided and the threat of job loss. Therefore, in order to integrate the employees, clear communication of the benefits should be stated by the organization, the organization should provide RFID training, and the organization should actively take employees' feedback throughout the change management process as it makes employees feel that they have more control, which results in greater buy-in. Then, since RFID should be placed already during the inbound process or receiving process of the automotive parts, the supplier needs to be integrated. To accomplish this, clear communication of the benefits from the supplier perspective is needed for buy-in. Coordination with the many suppliers on who's placing RFID needs to be established, and potential financial support may be needed as the RFID system is very expensive. Specifically, the cost for the entire end-to-end -end process of the design is very expensive. The major relevant cost associated with the implementation of the RFID system is the actual RFID parts required and the expertise to handle the back-end work of running the RFID system, where the upfront cost can significantly project upwards depending on the quality and quantity of RFID units purchased. However, even though the cost is very expensive, the long-term benefits that a company can gain outweighs the upfront cost of the RFID system. A couple of the many examples where RFID systems provided significant savings within the automotive manufacturing industry are Bailiff, an automotive manufacturing company, saves $2 million annually by implementing an RFID system for the production of transmissions, 
and General Motors in South Korea calculated that an RFID system would save them $14.2 million annually for the production of panel, seats, and rear axles of the car. Ultimately, an RFID system can significantly improve the overall supply chain of the automotive manufacturing industry through the real-time end-to-end visibility that is provided. But with technology constantly changing, what is the future of automotive manufacturing? With the current developments of 5G wireless networks, it is a key enabler for Industry 4.0 as 5G wireless networks provide greater speed, reliability, response rate than the current 4G LTE networks. 5G is going to be able to connect more devices without having to use up a lot of resources. Therefore, the various IoT devices and 5G wireless networks have the power to digitally transform automotive manufacturing companies into the future of smart manufacturing where every advantage in operating effectively and efficiently is a prerequisite in surviving the continually complex changing market demands. This concludes our presentation. Thank you.